everyone, welcome back to the channel. The name is Chev, also known as the Furious Chicken, and I'm so glad you are back because today we're gonna be doing a meme review. Yes, this is gonna be a Splinterlands meme review. A couple of days ago, I started this contest in Splinterlands PH where people can send me their best Splinterland memes, and whichever I pick is the best. Uh, I'm a, I'm, I'll give him 500 DEC, okay? I'm gonna pick a runner-up as well for 200 DEC, but um, I think I need your help. Um, instead of me picking what I like based on my bias review, right? I think I'll put what you like into consideration. So, making this video uh, and reviewing these memes. Now, I'm not gonna be just reacting to them, okay? I am not one of those overreacting people. Uh, actually, it's I don't think my kind of humor is when I find something funny, I'll just keep laughing my ass off. Nope. Maybe you're, you'll hear a snort or maybe a, maybe a silent nod of appreciation, but that's it. That's it for me. Okay. Now, before we begin, um, I want you to choose the winner, at least which one you like the most. And let me know why in the comment section below. And if ever, whatever you commented is, you know, worth reading, if I like it, I will be sending you DEZ rewards as well. Maybe I'll pick two and then send you 100 DEC each. So make sure you keep, uh, you drop your IGN as well on your comment and timestamp the meme that you like the most. So, you know, once I choose you as the winner, I know which IGN to send the DEC to. All right. All right, cool. Let's begin. Uh, what is our first meme? Okay, our first meme is Master Ugwe. It says here, when you finally get a legendary gold foil, finally inner piece. All right, I guess that's uh, that's cool. I like it. Um, yeah. Man, I've never been able to get a legendary gold foil before. I've been playing since August. Have you, have you cracked a legendary gold foil from packs or chests, uh, before? Cause I've been opening more than two hundred chests every end of season, as well as I don't know, maybe a hundred as well at every every season from regular chest, and I haven't been able to get a single legendary gold foil. So. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure if ever that happens, I'm gonna be getting inner peace as well, <laughs> like Master Ugwe. Oh, by the way, guys, some of these memes might be in Filipino because I posted it in Splinterlands to Philippines. Um, in case that happens, I'm gonna translate it to English for you, as well as maybe explaining the context. I hope the humor translates to English, but just in case it doesn't, I don't know. I'll let you know. All right, next one: DZ earnings, grinding. Low DC rewards, rental fee. Okay, well, the meme makes sense, but I don't know. I don't really find it funny. But it makes sense, right? Right now, you're hoping for, for good DC earnings. At least that's how it was a few months ago. But since the value of DC is super low right now, and you're, I mean, I was playing Silver 3 earlier, and I only got like 2 DC from 100%. Uh, ECR and I believe that's even on a win on a win streak so it's just bad I mean the rental fee is so low right now compared to how it was a few months ago but because you're not getting as much DEC earning anyways yeah it, it, it just I don't know most of my scholars aren't playing their accounts anymore to be honest with you because it's not worth the grind anymore sometimes you can't even earn back the rent you can't even earn back your rental fee so I guess this meme is okay next one bronze small brain silver normal brain gold um big brain diamond enlightened brain is that what you call them but okay this is a good meme but actually i don't think i agree with it i've been talking to a few leaderboard people and what they're telling me is that it is much easier to place in the leaderboards of diamond and champion compared to bronze silver and gold yeah they're saying that as long as you attain a certain rating in Diamond or Champion, you can place in the leaderboards. All you have to do is to rent the power that you need for the end of the season to actually get the leaderboard reward. 
But for the bronze, silver, and gold league, they can't just grind for one day. They have to grind multiple days, especially at the end of the season, maybe two or three days before the end of the season. Because the leaderboard runners will start renting cards and just grind their way for like hours to get to the top. So even if you're like top five at the beginning of the season after grinding to around 2,800 or 2,900 rating for bronze, that's still not enough. You will be shocked by the end of the season, bronze players can get to like 3.2 or 3.4 K rating just to get to the leaderboard. Yeah, wait for my leaderboard interview. Uh, for one of the bronze leaderboard runners, uh, we have some fruit, uh, some insightful conversation about how the leaderboard in the bronze work. All right, next one. Wow, this is, I didn't realize that it will take this much time to review these memes. All right, next one. He's thinking of girls again, me thinking how to win back my rent. Okay. All right. This this is funny actually. I like it. Uh yeah, I like it. You 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 get it. <laughs> okay. I like it. All right. This is a Filipino meme. Robin says, "I rented one whole day so I can grind. I mean, I rented cards for one whole day so I can grind, and then Batman slapped him because Robin fell asleep." I understand this one. If you don't rent cards, maybe you won't understand this meme. But for us, to rent cards so we can compete in the higher levels because we can't buy our cards. Sometimes we rent um, and then play it for like 100 to 80% ECR and then sleep overnight. And then in the morning, it's back to 100% ECR. And then we can grind again because we only have that 24 hour span, right? To maximize the cards that we rented we have to earn back the rental price as well as earn some dec on top but because robin here most likely overslept when he woke up either the the rent the rented cards already expired or he's like one hour away from the expiry that he can't grind 100 games anymore to even earn back the rental price okay so it's i like it it's good man man is it is it even does it make it funnier to explain memes doesn't it make it like not funny anymore i don't know okay no to axe infinity yes to splinterlands cards okay <laughs> i don't know i mean i've never played axie before splinterlands is my first nft game but i have been getting a lot of i've been seeing a lot of a splinter, I mean, Axie manager and players in the Splinterlands PH uh, Facebook page selling their Axie or trading them for Splinterlands cards. So maybe, yeah, maybe this meme makes sense. Next one. Dad, why are we poor? Your grandfather was buying here and selling here. All right, this is awesome. I like it. Yes, the, the infamous strategy to buy high and sell low. Okay. I mean, I have been seeing a lot of people selling all of their assets right now for bold price. Man, if you are not from the Philippines, you are missing out. Especially if you have money. Mo there are a lot of Filipino players that aren't playing but are just buying and selling assets. Because of those people that joined the game around October and November. Because the EC value is so high and then they can resell everything that they get from the chest daily. But because everything is super is super low right now, they're just bulk selling their accounts, including their accounts, like all the keys and all. So it's super cheap just to, you know, cut loss basically. Or since they already returned their investment, they're just selling everything off for profit, even though it's not really as much as they would want it to be. But as what those veterans are saying, sometimes this happens, you know. This is basically the accumulation phase. If you have enough patience and trust in the devs, which I got to say is one of the best, if not the best NFT uh, developers, Agro and the team, I think you should be holding your assets, even buying more. Because once we get to the next market run, man, you would wish you didn't sell your assets. All right. <laughs> okay, let's proceed. This is a good meme. I like it. Yo. Okay, this is a Filipino joke. There is a context here. I have to explain it. Well, even if you're telling me that you don't want me to explain it because you're a Filipino and you get it, no, I'm going to explain it anyways. Okay, let's begin. Uh, this one is saying they don't like cockfighting, but they like Chaos Legion packs. 
what is the relationship ship between these two? It doesn't make sense, right? Well, actually, it does make sense if you're Filipino, okay? Because here in the Philippines, we have this uh, betting games called... Uh, they're cockfighting, basically, but they're called talpak or talpakan. Um, what it means is that there will be two cocks. Is that even SPG? Is that term SPG? I think it's okay. So there are two chickens, roosters, basically, and they fight. Sometimes it's online. Sometimes it's live. And then you bet on one, and whoever wins, you win money. It's called talpak. Uh, that is the term. You gamble your money to to win. Now, pack, P-A-C-K, by the way, talpak is spelling T-A-L-P-A-C. Uh, Chaos Legion packs basically is a gamble as well in the Philippines. A lot of people are buying packs, even from the secondary market, so that they can open it, hope for something expensive, and then resell it for value, okay? They're basically gambling $3, which is the price of each pack in the secondary market, to open and hopefully get something much valuable than $3, okay? Because it's gambling as well, and the term pack is there, they just add tal at the beginning. They call it talpak, which means they are gambling to open their Chaos Legion packs, and hopefully they can get something more valuable than the initial investment that they spent to buy that pack. Okay, that is one long explanation. Let's move on. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, what they're saying is that they're this is their face when they're trying to compute. Um, which cards should they sell from the Chaos Legion pack that they just opened? Okay. I mean, it's okay. I guess it's not really that funny. Okay, that's offensive. I'm sorry. Whoever gave me this meme, I didn't mean that. It is funny. Okay, I'm laughing. Ha ha ha. Okay, I'm sorry. All right, let's move on. Okay, I like this meme. What they're saying is, uh, this is the reaction of Gold League players that just opened their daily quest but only got common cards. While this one is the expression of Bronze League players that after they open their one or two chests, they get a gold for a legendary. Okay, you can see how how much the Filipino uh, Filipino Splinterlands community wants to get that gold foil legendary because they can just resell it immediately. One gold foil legendary is like a third or a or a quarter of a monthly salary here in the Philippines, like um, minimum wage salary. All right, so if you get that, it's like you work for like a week or two. Okay. Yeah, that, that's the reason why you've been seeing all of these um, gold foil of you. Uh, gold foil memes. Okay, it's the same here. Squidward is saying that um, they open 20 chests and all, I mean, they open 20 packs and all they're getting are common cards. While these two dumps here opened one pack and they got their legendary gold foil right away. Okay? So, wow. Same, same idea for everyone. <laughs> okay, but I understand and I... I understand where you're coming from. Yep, another one here. Waiting for my legendary gold foil. All right. Um, sign of maturity. Okay, yeah, I like this one. <laughs> okay, let me translate it in English. Uh, what they're saying is that it is a sign of maturity when you don't get hurt anymore, even if you only get common cards. Okay, you know, daily quest, all burbs and rats, burbs and rats. That's what happens. I feel this. I don't even... I don't even hope for gold foils anymore. <laughs> I know it's either going to be lotions or common cards. I like it. All right. Next on. Pagdi pa ako makakuha ng gold foil legendary this season, quit na ako. Interlands. Interlands player. Huwag kang OA kasi matagal ka na ROI. Okay. Yeah. I don't think the humor would translate. But yeah, this one is funny. Actually, I like this. It's this might be my winner. I'm not sure yet, but no, the other ones are better as well. Uh, we'll see. Help me pick the winner. But this one, it's basically saying this player here is angry. They're saying that if they still, they're shouting to the heavens that if still do, they still don't get a gold foil legendary, they're going to quit the game. Okay? And then the angel here, Splinterlands, basically gave them this reality message. And it says, don't, if, but I, it's like, stop being bitchy 
you you've been you have returned your investment for quite a while now. It's something like that. It's like this one is telling them that you know, don't. Why are you overreacting like that? You've already returned your investment tenfold or something. Yeah, it's your. I don't think it trans. The joke translates well in English, but that's how it is. All right, let's move on. Meme review. All right, I should have done that in the beginning. Anyways, me every time I open chest. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, that's funny. But yeah, it's they're just saying here that fly. Fly small common card. That's a literal tra literal translation. But the joke here is that they know that once they open the chest, a common card will fly, fly away from here. From uh, only a common card will come out. It's it's okay. Next one. Your DC just goes to rental fees and not earning even a single cent. Yep, that's the face of someone who just made the realization of the truth. All right, next one. Okay. This is another Filipino meme. I'm so sorry. This does not translate well to English. It says here. I mean, this one is English, right? But the meme here is this one at the bottom. Silver player trying to reach silver again, but goes on a losing streak against bots in bronze league instead. Gusto ko nang kung sumabog. I don't think I can explain the context here. There's a long context here, but just imagine that expression, and. I don't know. Just, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Only Filipinos will get this. Let's move on. Ano yung feeling na nakailang talpa ka na pero, pero di ka pa rin sinaswerte? Okay. Yeah, another Filipino meme. I don't think I can explain this. This is a scene from a commercial. The line here says, The feeling is overwhelming. Um... I'm. Uh, how do you say that in English? Uh, I don't know. Let's just move on. Move on. Move on. The Bawi Morant was a great. All right, this is a good, good one as well. <laughs> what what this girl is is whispering to this guy that he was that he finally earned back the rental for his grind. This is basically for those people that rent cards for a daily grind. Okay. So when you know, once you realize that you already earned back your rental for that daily grind, you get goosebumps because that means everything else from there are just profits. All right. Okay. Let's move on. Okay. I like this one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is a taunter. All right. Opportunity to snipe and sneak. Okay. I like this one. I, I really like this one. <laughs> I like this one. All right. I think. Um, all right. Let's move on. This is fine. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm starting to enjoy this. Um, noxious fuse and earthquake, and because what what is it? Is this the cube? This is the cube, right? Yeah. The, it has heal. Okay, I like it. I, I really like this one. Let's move on. Oh, it looks like is that it? Nope, not yet. Let's move on. Let's get a break. I just lost forty battles in a row, but I got my five daily quest chest. Okay, okay, that that realization will hurt. What if you get a gold for a legendary though, right? Let's go. Okay, that is the heart of the cards, a furious chicken. Let's go, let's go, furious chicken. Okay, this is awesome. <laughs> you are using your alchemy to summon seventh. No, alchemy, according to Edward Elric is it has a law of equivalent exchange right so unless you have the philosopher's stone you can't just make up 7 to 2404 dec from thin air you have to combine the same value so science wise i'm sorry this fails but meme wise it looks good next one when your furious chicken is the last creature standing okay <laughs> this is this is from gladiator right the the scene that where Russell Crowe says, are you not entertained? Is that it? Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, I like this one. Let's move on. Buying cards, DC. And then you buy CLP said, You know what? I feel this one in the personal level. Sometimes, you know, you know it is much it is a much better decision to buy cards and get those 
get your decks built, right? So you don't have to rent anymore. But the uh, the call of you buying a CLP, a Chaos Legion pack, and opening it to get that Gold Foil Legendary is something. something. But, you know, nice win. Next. When you use up all your DEC to rent for EOS chest, and it's only Potion and Wings. Ah, deserve a screenshot. Okay. I understand the aggression. Let's move on. Corporate needs you to find the difference between this picture and this picture. They're the same picture. Definitely they are. It's always lotions. It's always lotions. Congratulations, you spent half a day, lost 437 points and 43 battles, but you got your daily quest rewards. Okay. <laughs> well, that's sad. That is so sad. I mean, if you lost that much, that means if you you don't own the cards, if you're only renting them, I don't think you were able to earn back your rental. Man, this is one sad meme. Okay, this is a Filipino-only context. Scammers, the FB group, go nice scammer did, okay? Because you see, guys, as what I mentioned earlier, there are lots of buying and selling happening in the Splinterlands PH. And of course, when that happens, there will be this bad people taking advantage of the opportunity scammers that they try to sell you stuff they don't really own and then they don't go first and then you don't get they, you don't get them vouch because you're too proud to vow to, to ask for vouching or you don't want to use a midman because you don't want to pay so sometimes you get scammed what happens if a scammer is is trying to scam another scammer this is how they look Moving on. SPS, DEC. Oh no, that's not a hard decision. I know my answer. SPS all the way. Alright, go. Next one. Oh, it looks like that is the last of our meme review. Um, Wow, that is one fa fun list. I didn't expect to really enjoy that meme review. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Um, Please help me pick the winner. I need your input. Alright, whichever you like. Drop it in the comment section below with the timestamp of the meme that you prefer and let me know why you like that meme. I will choose two winners from the comments and give you 100 DEC each. So don't forget your IGN, okay? If you want to maybe join uh, an episode 2 of Meme Review, join my Discord channel. I'm going to link it in the, description uh, in the description below. So maybe we can start a new channel there and we can post memes and then once maybe a week or so i can review the memes and give dec to whoever i think has the best and with you memes that's it for me for today the name is chev also known as the furious chicken and i will be back with another one real soon bye